Have you ever found yourself overwhelmed, stressed, or anxious, but longing for a deeper sense of joy in the midst of life's demands? My name is Cindy, and I am so glad that I get to spend time with you today. Now, if that question resonates with you, I'm excited to share with you about the power of prayer for joy. Okay, so imagine a toddler who is just learning how to walk in those early phases a parent will witness during this time. It might be difficult at first, but when they take some tumbles, which we know we will see them fall countless times, in fact, some of those falls might be painful, and unfortunately, the little one may cry. Or on the flip side, some falls may even be a little funny. You know the ones that you're glad you caught on video and you can't wait to post? Yeah, that one. And they may giggle and they get right back up. As a parent witnessing this discovery of a new stage in life for their child, the overall response will be to cheer them on, to help them get right back up on their feet and to keep going. While their toddler might express a whole range of emotions, they also don't give up. They relentlessly make continued efforts until they have achieved walking. So why would they do that? And why would a parent want to keep motivating them? Because they know that they already have the victory. There is joy in the journey, quite literally in the ups and downs of that season. But let's turn to the word and look at Psalm 16, 11. It says, you make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. At the end of the day, those who are gripping onto the illusion of control are desiring peace in a very chaotic world. And when we look at the complexities of life, we know that there will be highs and lows. But let me encourage you to place absolute dependence on God and anchor to His truth. Philippians 1.6 says this, And I am sure of this, that He who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. So friends, take heart and know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for what you are doing, for what you have done, and how you will continue to see us through every single situation and circumstance. Father, you reign above all things, and we ask that we can lean on you and your strength and that you can give us joy in all circumstances. I pray that for everybody listening, that they can put on the garment of praise and continue to stay anchored in, in your truth, Lord, and in your hope. Father, we ask all of this in your mighty name. Amen.